Food for the Hungry is about giving, and each year we plan special events to drive donations of food and money for the Salvation Army and inner church social services. This year, we tried something very brave, a Beatles Chautauqua right here at Memorial Theater, the Fab Four on this stage. The idea for the Beatles Chautauqua series came from Mike Petey, coordinator of the Chautauqua and Lyceum series here in Knox County, held throughout the year. First of all, is finding a left-handed bass player who, who I happen to be. That was a good, good thing because it's tough finding left-handed bass players. Uh, but I knew these gentlemen uh, who are very musical-minded. They have uh, the abilities, especially when we added Adam Taylor as, as Eric Clapton. It really opened up the types of songs that we can, can do. Uh, it, 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 it's just one of these things that I think God faded us, if you will. He says, you guys have got to get together to do this. And so we just naturally fell together and uh, it was a great process of putting it together. It started with a proposal to play two songs. Two became 22 songs as I stepped into the role of Eric Clapton, a special guest of the Beatles, as they reunited in the mid-1970s for this special show. And it was really an enjoyable evening for me overall. Clapton's always been one of my idols. Of course, getting to do Beatles material, also something I've always dreamed of doing. And fortunately this year, the guys asked me to be a part of it and got to play the guitar solo to while my guitar gently weeps. What's not to love about that? that we had about three-fourths of the place filled up and that's gratifying. Uh, of course it doesn't hurt my ego to have that many people show up but I am I'm really really appreciative that we did so well for Food for the Hungry. That that was that was the main reason for this and I was glad I'm really really happy to see the outpouring. I think this is just a real good kickoff to to the season for Food for the Hungry. Well, you know, we were pretty excited about the, uh, the concert we did at the Dan Emmett. That really went well. Uh, we were surprised by the attendance and the attention. So we thought, <clears throat> you know, we had a lot of momentum going into it. Mike and I had been working together with uh, doing the Beatle thing, and we decided that we should, um, you know, parlay this into something bigger and something more uh, community-focused. And um, we knew that uh, Food for the Hungry was coming up. So we just uh, thought, well, let's talk to the commissioners and see if they will offer us the, the memorial. Because we thought, because it is Food for the Hungry, we wanted as many people to attend, not to see the Beatles, but to donate. To donate their time, their food, and, uh, and their money. And it, was, it turned out great. I'm, I just couldn't have asked for, for more, uh, a more fun evening. Didn't want it to end. You know, it was, uh, we were all having a blast up there. And um, so those are fun. I mean, I've been doing stage for years and years, and, and I do get a rush from that, from, from being able to play. And it's a bit of a letdown when it's all over, because then you go back to, unless you do it for a living, uh, you go back to the monotony of things, you know, and you say, okay, I gotta get up in the morning to go to work. Uh, for me, I get up tomorrow morning, I'm driving to Canada, so that's kind of a cool thing. I get to just, you know, enjoy and relive 
the, the moment, you know. And it would have been fun if I could put in a CD just to listen to the concert tonight, but I, that will come later, I suppose. So. Well, I'm a friend of Mike Petey's. I've done some musical things with him in the past, and this project came along. He knew I played drums, so and I'm a big Beatles fan, so nice fit. Yeah, we've had a lot of rehearsals. Um, it's a lot of tunes. One key thing about the Beatles is getting the harmonies right, and the guys worked a lot on that. We tried a lot of different songs. Some of them didn't quite work out, so we dropped them, tried to concentrate on what worked best, and that's kind of what you got tonight. We also got reaction to the show from Food for the Hungry Drive Coordinator Sandy Roten. I'm really excited. The, the whole bottom floor is full, part of the top floor is full. I'm just excited the turnout and people came in droves with bags of food. We filled six carts to overflowing and uh, I'm just excited that there's support of Food for the Hungry and have some good entertainment in the meantime. The admission price was one can of food so we weren't asking for a lot but people just gave so much more. I think it just makes them feel special to have something that they can just freely come to and I think it must have motivated them to uh, give. We had a lot, a lot of people gave donations too. I'm really excited of uh, monetary donations. Doing it for Food for the Hungry and realized the momentum we could build just to kick it off. We were glad they were receptive to the idea and we're just pleased where it got to. The Beatles! Oh, you come out on stage and the curtain opens and you know, you see so many people turning out to support such a great cause. The energy was really phenomenal. And just playing with these four excellent musicians is just a high for me. I've checked some things off the bucket list this year, and this is one of those things that I've really enjoyed doing, and I hope we get the opportunity to perform together again. And really, as a part of a, supporting a cause like this again would be phenomenal. But this crowd was terrific, and I can't wait to do it again. I don't know how we'll follow it up next year now. It was a good time. I think everybody got involved and was singing. I love Ringo. I had to shout it out. So Awesome time. I love the Beatles. They did absolute perfect justice to the Beatles. I could have listened to two more hours of that. And if anything, they could have added a piano player because there's so many good Beatles songs with piano parts. If you need a piano player, let me know. It was awesome. Awesome. This is a tremendous event. Came here with my boss. I'm from Williamsburg, Virginia, and I Came, I work here now, and uh, this is really a phenomenal thing that Mount Vernon puts on. I've been in several of the concert series, and this is fantastic. Yes, this is Ringo, and I would encourage anybody listening to um, get from your heart to those in need. Um, it's the right thing to do. I've given, done my part. So, I'd like to see everybody come together, do your part, it really helps out, it really does. One of the reasons that I truly love the United States of America is because of their commitment to volunteerism. In the UK, we really don't have anything that begins to compare to the spirit of the American and their willingness to give. And I'm always left speechless when I look at what Americans are willing to do for one another, all in the name of volunteerism and that we were able to be a part of the food for the hungry and help them really kick it off in such a big way. I'm sure it's only the start of what will truly be a tremendous drive and that's of course with your volunteer efforts and we thank everybody for all their efforts that they're pulling together and I'm sure that this will be the biggest food for the hungry drive ever. Well, good evening, or good afternoon, I should say. This is Paul McCartney and we want you to come out and give us as much food and money as you possibly can afford for food for the hungry it's a great cause and for a fellow man you may be there sometime yourself you know so please give until it hurts why should people give <clears throat> give peace give peace a chance as john used to say um i think um giving is something that makes us all feel better and there are a lot of people that could use it especially in this economy that uh, that we've got here in america it's pretty bad in britain too um but um so just the same i think you should give give your time your effort and make someone happy and uh sing a beatles song you know sing one of my songs if you prefer my sweet love 
So a special thank you to everyone who came out to enjoy the Beatles Chautauqua. For the 2011 Food for the Hungry Drive, I'm Adam Taylor.